Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I got for you guys some of these 2021 Pokeball tins. So these are the decorative tins that are in the shape of a Pokeball. They're metal, they're pretty well made, and they have uh, three Pokemon booster packs in each one and a coin. They come in a different uh, couple sets. You got the standard Pokeball, you have the Great Ball, and uh, I've already opened up, I had an Ultra Ball. So you can get all the different colorations of them. They're a nice collectible object and they do have three packs in them. So I'll figure out to open a couple up, show you guys what's inside. Let's get into all it. Alright, up first we have the standard Pokeball. So as you guys saw, what's inside the Pokeball? The answer is Pokemon cards, of course. So three booster packs and a coin. These are the year 2021. They come out with uh, different packs in every single year. So I will open up uh, two of these to show you guys what you can expect inside the newer Pokeball tins. Let's get in to it. All right. So in the first ball we have our three packs. We got a Sword and Shield base, a Rebel Clash base, and a Darkness Ablaze. So those are our three packs that we got in that one. Not too bad. And let's see our coin. Do we get the coin? We have a legendary dog coin. Look at that. So it's a, a nice coin. And the tin, like I said, it's pretty solid. It's made of metal. And it is a nice collectible item that you could uh, display or keep as a collectible object. So, yeah, that's the first Pokeball. So up next we have the Great Ball. Different coloration. You got the blue and red. Nicely made. Alright. So, usually, from what I've seen in opening these tins up, the same year seems to have the same pack. I've seen other videos where people seem to get a, a better pack selection, but for the most part, seem to be getting the same three packs, which is, again, yep, your Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield Base, and a Darkness Ablaze. So, as you guys can kind of see... Being in the Pokeball itself, uh, it kind of does mash the pack up a little bit. I mean, they're all kind of mashed. So, I mean, it, from what I've had in the past, opening these up, it doesn't seem to really affect the cards. But it isn't the best compared to some of the other tins where the pack is a lot fresher. Alright. Well, without further ado, we'll rip into these and see what kind of... Alright, I got them separated into the same sets. So we'll start with Rebel Clash. Haven't uh, opened a huge amount of this set. I haven't heard the greatest things about it, so it's kind of made me steer clear, but we will open these up and see what we get. All right, what can Rebel Clash produce? Heracross, Capacious Bucket, Turfield Stadium, a Phantom, Bronzor, Toxel, Applin, Galarian Darumaka, and we got a Reverse Hollow Growlithe. Reverse Hollow Growlithe. Not bad. And our rare is a Hollow Hatterene. So we did get a Hollow Rare there. So not too bad. I always appreciate a Hollow Rare as opposed to a non Hollow. Nothing amazing. But, can't complain. Alright, well first pack of uh, Rebel Clash, not too bad. Alright, on to our next Rebel Clash. What do you guys prefer out of these three packs? Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield Base, or Darkness Ablaze? For me, I'd have to say Darkness Ablaze, just because you have that uh, Charizard in there. Alright, we have our second pack of Rebel Clash. We have a Dan, Carcoal, Heatmore, Heloptile, a Hone Edge. We got Litwick, Galarian Corsola, a Binacle, and we have a Reverse Hollow Beware. You better beware. 
because beware is here to scare. All right, guys. Beware. And a non-hollow caramorant. Despite it being non-hollow, I'm a big fan of the artwork on that. That's great. Coloration, everything about it. So that's a nice uh, nice card. Nothing I'll put in a top load or anything, but it's cool to look at. All right. On to Sword and Shield. Base set. So this is the first uh, release from Sword and Shield. And let's find out what we get. Code card for y'all. Do you guys like Sword and Shield? I'm not the biggest fan. Energy Retrieval. Pokemon Center Lady. Doug Trio. Good old classic Doug Trio. You got the, the Doug Trios there. Those ones are tripping out. Alright, Pharaoh Seed. Diglett to go with the Doug Trio. We got a Chinchu. This guy seems to make his way into like every set I've opened. Chinchu. We got Nicket. Score Bunny. We have a Sobel, Reverse Hollow, Common, and a Raichu. Nice. It's not a Hollow. It's a non-Hollow rare, but I do like Raichus and Pikachus, so not so shabby. All right. On to the second pack of Sword and Shield. We got Lapras on the front, so I guess you can pull a a Lapras out of this uh, set possibly. So that'd be nice. Code card, and let's see what we got. Probably no Lapras. Big Charm, a Rhydon, good old classic Rhydon. Kingler, back to back, back to back OGs. Hoot Hoot, still kind of an OG. Not from the base set, but it's from the old days. Mudbray, we got a Grookey, Krabby, Rickety. And a Mara Cactus Reverse Hollow Common. Followed up by Sandaconda. Got a Sandaconda. Anaconda found in the Sandaconda. Non Hollow Rare. Alright. So, as I've kind of uh, experienced in the past, nothing amazing. But, can our Darkness Ablaze make up for those? Let's get that Charizard. The Flaming Dragon. Alright. Code card. Right off the bat, these cards, uh, the condition looks a lot nicer. There was whitening on those other ones. Okay, Furret. Rare Fossil. Flachinder. We got a Skarmory. Skarmory is pretty old. Gothica. Or is it Gothita? I prefer Gothica, so they should change that. Paris. Marie. We got a Ducklet. And we have a Reverse Hollow Uncommon Poltergeist. We got the Poltergeist. And Flygon. Rare Non Holla. Holla Holla Non Holla. Alright, let's bring it in strong with the last pack. Can we get something nice? Come on, let's do it. Send me the luck. Alright, we got a big parasol. A carnivine. A flaffy. Hippopotus. A purloin. Feebass. A golet. Gold golet. Larvitar. I remember Larvitar. And we have the reverse. Hollow Flygon, rare, followed by do, 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 Wigglytuff, rare, and non-hollow. So it is an OG Pokemon, but non-hollow. It's a rare, but not going to be saved uh, in anything of my special area. So what do you guys think? Do you enjoy these new 2021 Pokeball tins, or do you prefer the older ones? Not the best pack selection inside them, and not the greatest hits, but hey, what can you do? They're about uh, 15 to 20 bucks. You get three packs in there and a coin, commemorative coin. So at the end of the day, not too bad. And even though this guy's not hollow, probably my most favorite to pull so far out of uh, this opening. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Do you enjoy those Pokeball tins? 
and uh, you're going to open up a few yourself. You guys have a great day, and see you in the next video.